Now let's get into the cartwheel. The cartwheel might be advanced for some of you if you've never done any kind of gymnastics, but it's pretty simple if you break it down. All we're really going to do, now there's a difference between a ninja cartwheel and a gymnastic cartwheel. A gymnastic cartwheel would be more important to have the form set up and do that cartwheel. We don't want that. We want it to be more natural, even a little more sloppy, or something that you could actually use in a situation. So you want to make sure that you're lower center of gravity, you have your lower center of gravity and you're ready to go in that cartwheel. And all you're going to do is kind of the same thing, just rock back. Your left hand's going to touch the mat and your right hand's going to touch the mat and you want to kick your feet straight up because this is what it's going to look like if you don't know how to do a cartwheel in the beginning and this is okay. It's going to look like that. So in the beginning, start off like that. Just kind of think, my left hand has to go, then my right. My left, then my right. Work on trying to get those hands in a straight line. My left, and then my right. And then, start kicking those feet into the air. Till you have a normal cartwheel. Over, here. And you're just gonna let your body fall to that side. And if you have your feet touching the sky, you just fall over and it comes natural. Want to make it a little more challenging, watch my eyes. I'm going to keep my eyes on you the whole time. This way I'm focused more on something else, not worrying about where my hands or my feet are going. Especially if we're going from a tree, cartwheel, and behind another tree, I want to look to see if the person that I'm cartwheeling, you know, hiding from, doesn't see me. So I have my eyes on my opponent the whole time. Okay, when we're doing that cartwheel, remember, lower center of gravity, left hand, right hand, and just allow your body to fall naturally in that direction. Right now, my eyes are on the ground, watching to see where I'm putting those hands at. This is important if you wanted to pick up some dirt or grab an object from the ground. However, if I'm cartwheeling from one tree, cartwheeling, and hiding behind another tree, I want to make sure that my eyes are in that direction. So I'm going to watch the whole time. That way, I can see while I'm going through if something hears. Okay, you can also do cartwheels if your opponent's awake, but you just took him down and you're going to cartwheel. You can cartwheel on his face or his, his groin or both. And take out those eyes as you come around. All right, once again, we do a takedown, we can cartwheel straight through, and then we can rake out the eyes as we go through. The same move can be applied on the groin, only this time putting more of my pressure on the chest area. Now, if we're doing this against a real opponent, we want to put all the pressure on his face or somewhere where it hurts. Another application for that cartwheel is called a cartwheel kick. We're going to do a normal cartwheel, and when we're in the air, we're going to snap that leg out. In this case, it's going to be this leg. This is an advanced application, so unless you've got the cartwheel down, you don't need to worry about using this as one of your applications. Another application for that cartwheel is if you needed to pick up an object off the ground. When you're picking up an object off the ground, such as a fallen knife or a rock or dirt, you can use either the left hand or the right hand. In this position, I want to use my right hand. The reason being is the blade is facing to the left. And the reason I want to grab with my right because when I end up in that fighting stance with the knife, I want to have the blade pointing forward. Here. If I was to grab it with my left hand, notice the blade is reversed, which I might want to do if I wanted a reverse grip or I wanted to hide that knife. Another example for that cartwheel can be used as a defense moving away from your attacker. So if he was to grab me and I was to go here, I can cartwheel away. What happens is my feet come up, 
kind of keeping him away or at a distance or even kicking him in the face when he comes in. Throwing a couple feet in his face, grabbing some dirt probably on that cartwheel so that when he comes back, I have the dirt in his face and there. This is important. Let's say the, my opponent is maybe stronger or faster or something, and I don't have any kind of a weapon to use against him. And maybe I'm trying to do some blocks and stuff, and I'm getting hit, and, and I'm getting damaged pretty good. I might want to then create the distance between myself and the attacker by doing a cartwheel. Pick up dirt from the ground. This gives me a little bit of, a, bit of an edge, so I can take out his eyes when he comes in here. Then I can follow up with my techniques.